hi and welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be talking about a very important uk visa which is the uk dependent visa and i'm going to tell you why i'm talking about this visa today the reason for this is that if you're coming to the uk as a couple it is so crucially important that you sit together and decide which of you is going to be the main applicant which of you is going to be independent and this is a decision that many people take very lightly but they should not because it has huge consequences it has massive impact when you get to this country but many people don't realize until they are here and it is way too late which as you know that's why i'm here to make sure that you're informed about these decisions and if you're still to make that decision then this information obviously can help you so if you're new to my channel you're very much welcome if you are a returning subscriber i appreciate your time and look these videos are all about implementation that will help you with decision making so if you're currently in the uk what is your situation what are your challenges what's going well what would you need more support with if you're out of the uk what is the situation with you are you applying for jobs what is going on as well Leave that in the comment section below and I'll be able to join you there and just answer those questions and talk more about your personal circumstances. So, uh, by the way, before I even get into the nitty gritty, I do have a free newsletter where I share information such as this directly to your inbox. I share information about free visa sponsorship opportunities to move to the UK or to switch your visa if you're already in this amazing country so that you're not spending thousands of pounds, you're not spending millions of money to come to the UK and likely even be jobbed stranded in this country broke without any support without any help without even your family to just kind of lean on also i'm passionate about career progression you know it's not only coming to the uk but what you do with yourself when you get here that's ultimately what is going to make all the difference because let me tell you the uk appears very rosy when you're out of here but when you get here it's a lonely place it can be a scary place it can be a depressing place and it can be you know it's got lots of challenges so you need a really good support system in order for you to thrive in this country and that's why i share these opportunities and this information so if you join my newsletter i've dropped the link in the comment section below i send all these informations and opportunities directly to your inbox apprenticeships so that you can study without paying tuition fees in fact you'll be paid for the privilege of studying and progressing in your career work from home jobs as well as side hustle ideas so you can work less earn more and retire early which is my motto by the way i have no intention working until i'm i drop basically it's about you know progressing in your career earning more looking for better opportunities so that you can have time to actually enjoy yourself and even just have a day off which is something many of us don't have if you also want to get in contact with me you can find my contact details you know on my newsletter in the comment section you can find my whatsapp number and also my email address and do get in contact with me asap so what are we talking about today we're talking about the dependent visa so which of you if you're a couple by the way should go for what visa because one person has to be the main applicant and one person has to be the dependent and like i say it's a very important decision you know i have one of my doctor friends you know who obviously he's a doctor his wife is also a doctor and guess what both of them have main applicant visa none of them took a dependent visa because they were like hey i've got all the qualifications i've passed my exams i got my own job so he is a main applicant his wife is a main applicant and now they're struggling with childcare. And because both of my main applicants, nobody can actually just reduce their hours and all that. And they are stuck with all these immigration restrictions. And it's when I spoke to them that they realized that one person could have been the dependent. And guess what? This couple has worked in the UK for three and a half years. They didn't know that one person could have been the dependent and one person just the main applicant. They thought both of them needed to be the main applicants and have visas in their own right. So again, you can see how something so crucial and so vital can get missed and the huge consequences that it now has on this amazing couple obviously i gave them advice and was able to guide them on what to do so that you know they can free up their own time and be able to get that help with childcare because they were spending about two thousand pounds per month on childcare for both of them to work it's it's very you know i was like you don't have to be doing this you know what i mean so again these are some of the things you want to think about. So I'm going to be telling you in terms of um, immigration laws and rules, in terms of working, in terms of studying, which is which, who should go for what. But obviously, it's going to depend on every couple, the type of visa we're talking about. If you're on a student visa, 
the dynamics are very very different for the couple and if you are on a work visa again very different dynamics and by the way if you're watching this and you're wondering my name is Melvis. I work as an advanced nurse practitioner for the NHS here in the UK. I started my own journey as a carer. That's why I'm passionate about these opportunities so that you, we can all succeed together. We can all progress in our careers. Um, you know, before I studied nursing, then working, you know, in the most senior clinical nursing position. So I've gone through my own fair share of challenges in the UK, progressing, jobs, employees, and literally everything that you can imagine. So I've got a private career coaching program where I offer personalized, tailored, and individualized guidance um, so they can get free visa sponsorship jobs, guaranteed jobs, visa sponsorship. You know, my program is for the top 1% of people that, like me, are heavily interested in personal and professional development. They want to do more, be more, know your self-worth, embrace your self-worth so that you can change your situation and don't get stuck in the same situation. So it's not worth it. If you're keen on joining, obviously getting those apprenticeships, NHS jobs, switching your visa, changing employers, because there are some unscrupulous employers that you are staying with them. You know that they're not worth it. They don't deserve you. You need to move on. So if you're keen, obviously check out the description box below or the about section of this YouTube channel and you're going to find a link to my private coaching program. If you've got any questions, concerns about it as well do check my contact details and get in contact with me so that I can provide you with more information, clarifications as to what is actually, you know, what it entails basically. So if you're a couple, therefore, and by the way, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button so you're the first person to be notified every single day. I drop videos on here every day because I'm dedicating my time, myself, my energy, my knowledge, my experience, my expertise to make sure that you're aware of these opportunities because look, don't get stuck. It is not worth it, you know. So hit the subscribe button and share with your loved ones so that they're aware of some of these opportunities because there are people that are already in these situations, but there are lots of other people that, you know, this can save them from making those mistakes that some of us that are already here have already made. So the first thing is work. And by the way, you need to assess each couple's skills, knowledge, background, experience in order to decide who should go for what visa. You also need to decide and know which jobs offer visa sponsorship and which of you is likely to get what job. So that the person who has the highest probability of getting a particular job should go for that job, you know, to apply for those opportunities because they've got more chances of being successful. And so if somebody, for example, um, I'm saying this thinking particularly about a couple that, you know, I've got currently in my coaching program. So initially I had the wife, she was, you know, a member of the program. And so for a month working with her, I realized that she was very keen on moving to the UK. But her main worry and her main concern was about her kids. She's got two kids with autism. And so she kept saying to me, Melvis, I'm worried about my kids because I explained to her about the whole visa dynamics. And she was like, oh, my God, I'm going to be working full time. What will I do with the kids? You know, they need me. She's still, you know, the mommy thing. You know what I mean? And she's very concerned because they are very severely autistic. Um... And, you know, so she's like a full-time mom at the moment. So they thought that because Kara jobs, like she's the female, Kara jobs are more female oriented, so she should apply. So when I went through with her about all the different opportunities, options and all of that, they realized that actually it would be a better idea for her husband to become the main applicant, but through other jobs and different pathways. So I supported her husband instead to get a job with the NHS. So he got a known clinical job working for the NHS in the UK. So they're going to be moving to the UK next month. They're not here. They'll be moving to the UK next month with visa sponsorship from the NHS. So again, and that's why I'm saying that when I was able to understand her concerns, I had to say, look, let's talk to your husband i can support him instead to get these types of jobs so that you are then the, the dependent so that the husband will be the main applicant she will be the dependent and she will have more flexibility to look after the kids you know and that has worked beautifully and that's why i'm sharing this with you so that if you're in a similar situation assess properly as a couple and decide because the person who is a main applicant they are going to be having most of those immigration restrictions that's how it works which means the dependent is kind of more free but as per the name of the visa the dependent visa is obviously dependent on the main applicant's visa so that's the main difference and when it comes to work therefore 
you know, you're more flexible on a dependent visa because you can change employers anytime, you can do whatever you like, unlike the main applicant. So again, that is why, like I say, when you're deciding, you can think very critically about the jobs offering sponsorship, whose skills are best for what jobs. And then it shouldn't just be a decision where you're like, oh, let's apply for jobs. No, you need to think about it. Because as a family, if there's somebody that can be more flexible to make more money, you should be leaning towards that decision because it's going to have a huge impact once you eventually get to the UK and realize that actually the cost of living is very high. And, you know, it's a lot more than you would have expected. So studying as well, how does that compare when it comes to studying? If you're on a student visa, it's a different case, obviously, for dependents. I always say on a student visa, you should be looking for jobs every day, like both of you looking for visa sponsorship because there are just no guarantees. And that's why work visas are obviously the best, you know, option to come for or to go for. So on a student, on if you want to study and you're on a dependent visa, you know, obviously, it's super easy. You simply apply, you know, whatever, whether it's a course or it's uni. You know, I'm personally a huge advocate when it comes to apprenticeships. I love apprenticeships because they'll pay you to study. They'll pay your tuition fees. So you pay no tuition fees. But in addition to that, you're also going to be working and you're going to graduate with work experience. Because look, this time and age, 99.9% .9 of people that are studying, doing all those degrees, they will not get a job you know, upon successful completion. So it's like, what's the point? If you're like me, if I'm doing something, I need to know that this is why I'm doing this. Especially when you're spending £20,000 and more to study for that course, you want to make sure that you've got value for money. You know, you've got value for money. Otherwise, it's a waste of resources. You could take that money and buy a house. Get a mortgage. <laughs> Like, on a serious note, buy a house and get a mortgage. So, when it comes to study, obviously, there's that flexibility. Um, but again, mind you, it depends on the main applicants, what type of a visa they have. If it's a work visa, then that works brilliantly. And like I said, um, you want to be reflecting as a family. You want to be working together and assessing each other's skills to see who is best for what position. That's the best way to go about it. Have you got any questions, by the way, concerns? Like I said, leave them in the comment section below. If you need to contact me privately, then do that. You're going to find my contact details in the comment section through my newsletter. Do join that so that I send that info directly to your inbox. If you need my advice, tailored, individualized, personalized guidance, one-to-one -one support, check out my coaching program. And check out this other video that I've linked up here, especially for you, just to give you more information about some of these amazing opportunities that the UK currently has to offer and so you know you don't want to be watching my videos and not going for the best opportunities like really it's no point so just check this video out and definitely make sure that you're implementing all of these amazing opportunities i'll see you in this video right here